you're trying to get a hold on your weight, and you've been looking at numbers on the scale, but maybe want something more definite, you're probably wondering how you can compute your body fat percent. I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian. And I'm here to say there's actually no numbers that you can really plug in to get your body fat percent. However, there are a couple different tests you can do. First would be like the skinfold test. Now this is going to be done with a calibrator and you're going to take a little measurement. Now typically this has to be done by someone who's been trained and knows how to read and compute these measurements. But they'll take a skinfold test at certain different, excuse me, certain areas on your body. And they'll take those numbers and they'll put it through an equation to give you a percent of body fat. There's also something called the bioelectrical impedance test. Now this, you can actually buy the tool if you would like. It runs around $60, to $60 or so, depending on where you get it from. But they also have these at the wellness gyms, and a lot of times the new scales will include this feature on them as well. Now what this does is send an electrical um, current through your body, and solid muscle mass actually um, has more water, so it does carry the current a little better than the fat mass, and there it go, therefore it can actually read and try to give you a body fat percent. Well, your BMI is the body mass index, and this really is a ratio of your height to the weight that your frame is carrying. And you can easily figure this out by taking the pounds, multiplying it by 703, dividing by your height in inches, and then dividing again by your height. So basically you have pounds times 703 divided by height squared. And this will give you that number, which is your BMI. Now you wanna stay within the healthy range, which is 18.5 to 25. This is the lowest risk for health um, disparities or lowest risk for health conditions. Anything below that, you're probably too thin. And then when we get too high, our health risk starts to increase. Now again, that's not for body fat percent, but it is still a good range and idea for your health risk. There's just a couple ways to compute your body fat percentage. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.